we'll start out, if you see in the background, we've got our pier driller. First thing he does is it takes a 114 inch uh, auger and drills down to below our B4 level. And then once he reaches that, we set the 108 inch casing. And then from there, we go in and we drill the specified pier, whether it's a 48 inch, 72 inch, 78 inch, whatever it is, and we drill our pier to the specified uh, uh, depth for our uh, penetration of the limestone. We sat at the table, we kind of uh, realized that obviously uh, production, safety, and quality all kind of interlink with each other. So with, with the issue with the top down, it gave us three opportunities uh, to really address and mitigate the risk. That being fall protection, combined space, and then the interaction between three trades, three separate trades working together. With fall protection, we had casings that were designed to sit 48 inches uh, above the subgrade and it, which eliminated the, uh, the need to have uh, railing around the whole hole, which is 114 inches, as Sam was talking about. Um, another thing that we did was we brought in special davit arm systems that were able to uh, clamp onto the side of the casing, bolt into it, they had enough strength to hold these guys as they're going down in the hole. So not only are they uh, considered safe as far as their fall protection, but it's also a retrieval system that if, if something were to go wrong down there, then we could retract them up. Uh, safely and not have to have anybody else involved as far as going down in the hole. Uh, as far as confined space or really the, the ladder system also as far as the fall protection were designed to actually have uh, anchor points on it where guys could clip off and hang on to the, the, the actual ladder system and work on the actual form, form work right there instead of having to sit there and uh, bring in the, an, another anchor system outside of that. The third or the second thing would be the confined space and that, that was a big one because we're worried about the gases. So what we did was we brought in some, some special monitors that were able to, to test the air that far deep. A lot of them won't test it. So we realized that we, we would need to test the air that would be about 25 feet deep down in the hole to make sure before, they, before anybody went in it, we tested it and it passed obviously, right? So the second thing that we did with that was we brought in supplemental air blowers. So we're pumping oxygen down there constantly just in case uh, if we ever did have a pocket that leaked or anything like that, we were able, able to push it out and replace it with oxygen, keep the guys safe all, all at the same time. The third thing being the interaction between three separate trades, which is a big one. Uh, communication obviously is, is, uh, is working there. W when you have that many trades involved in trying to get uh, the work done, it can get a little bit complicated. But, so what we did was we had probably five to six pre-meetings uh, pre on this with these guys where we actually walked the workers through the scenario and had them walk us step by step how they were going to do it.